Hello guys, it is Futon here, and welcome to my guide on Soul Gazers. Um, for the most part, this is going to be using the ranged combat style. You need at least a decimation bow or higher. The higher the bow, the easier this will be on you. Um, Scrimshaw of Aggression, basically Pernix. You do not want to go much lower than Pernix tier 80, as the elite Soul Gazer can actually hit quite hard. Overloads plus Prayer Restore is highly suggested. Um, you can use Penance, of course, but I, like I said, I'm just giving you for the, those who do not have it. Um, and then when you also need to have the quest Dishonor Among Thieves completed. Uh, when you have the quest, you will get the communication device here. Um, if you have destroyed it like I have, you can come to the emissary here, request communication device, and go ahead and space bar through it, and then you can activate it. This, you then you put option 2 to go ahead to the hideout, uh, which will teleport you to Zemorak's area. And if I'm not mistaken, it's right over here. Uh, you can't surge in this area, but right over here will bring you to the Soul Gazers. Um, from here, basically killing Soul Gazers really isn't that much of any problem. Um, that's the reason why we have the Scrimshaw of Aggression and you just basically attack them. Now, as a note, I'm going to be going into a little more detail about this portal, the pet, and the actual Hex Hunter bow. Um, so, as you see here, I have Seeker Charms, which can be bought from the GE or from get killing actual Seekers over here. Each Seeker Charm lasts approximately 10 kills. Uh, I'm not going to throw any in there because I have plenty of kills in there. So, for every charm you throw, it gives you 10 kills, and in this 10 kills, it's approximately, I believe, a 1 in 15 drop rate, or kill rate, to see in an elite soul gazer. Now, no, if it's not, if the charms are not active, it's approximately a 1 in 50 kill. Now, the soul gazers can drop either the soul gazer, the elite soul gazers, I'm sorry, can drop the seeker char, soul gazer charm, or a hex hunter bow. And then there's a 1 in 1,000 chance whenever you summon an elite soul gazer for it to be a Varric hell or a Vel ripper and that creature will always summon or drop I'm sorry not summon drop a hex hunter bow and as a note these mobs themselves the elite mobs only last approximately 30 minutes from spawn and that's really all there is to it um, besides that um, just basically you want to create a bar that abuses stuns a little bit more and yeah there really isn't too much to these things these are incredibly weak to range and you will want to at least pay some sort of attention for the elites because the elites actually do hurt and that's the only reason why food is actually suggested here but otherwise you can just go ahead and activate the scrimshaw and pull auto retaliate and go from there um these things there's not really anything that amazingly special about soul gazers they're eh for the drops they have a really high chance of rdt so i would bring luck of the doors for sure or not even kill them until you get luck of the doors because of that really high rdt chance these things can actually pretty easily um drop an hsr just because of how often you hit the table in fact i think they're on one of my top five uh HSR droppers in game. Um, the only thing better is I um, I strike worms and QBD really to be honest with you than these guys um, is quite incredible and your ring will proc a lot. But besides that, as you see, is not really anything that special. This actually turn on auto retaliate. You can kill them one at a time because if you are using aggression pots, unless you're going to be chinning them, it's not going to end too well for you because um, when the elite spawns, it will really hurt if you have the elite and something else spawned on it and as a note the elite chance um will spawn when something respawns in the room you get the one of 15 chance or the one of 50 and as a note as well they do stack to each other so it's about a one in 12 to 13 chance you will get an elite if you have these charms activated note these charms are quite expensive so um i would hope you only kill these with that active because again for the pet itself, it's quite nasty. Because you could get the Hex Hunter guaranteed from the Veil if you get someone else to spawn it for you, etc. But really, that's all there is for this NPC. Um, it's nothing really that special. I mean, it's just a normal Slayer mob with a lot more LP than normal. Nothing special. 
And again, um, make sure you're using secret charms for increased chance of the pet if you're after that. If you're not, you can just kill these. Uh, and again, also the normal soul gazers will drop the pet and drop the bow, but it's like 10 times rarer or something. I'm not for sure of the exact odds, but it is really, really up there. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and I will see you guys for the next video.